Now, I want you to play, play close attention. We're back at the Million Man March. This clip right here, I want to show you that brothers are waving dollar bills in the air. Like they just don't care. It could be dollar bills, some of them could be a 10, some of them could be 20, 100. But I want you to see this. Then I'm going to comment afterwards. Now y'all see all that money, all that, all that, all them dollars in, in the air. Millions, millions of dollars for a brother who could have, with that money, start up the farming program. The fishing, the fish program, the banking program, but he split that money with uh, those brothers, those civil rights brothers, Jesse Jackson. Since then, he done fell out with Jesse Jackson. They ain't cool no more. Jesse Jackson and Frere Khan are not cool anymore. Now this is after 75, you know, when, when he was with Wharf Dean. He went with Wharf Dean. He came back, built, built the uh, nation back to a point where people were listening to him. Then, after the Million Man March, he gave about some more Million Man March, but it, it wasn't a Million Man March no more. It was just something for show. I mean, he had a whole lot of people fooled. Then he jumped over to Scientology. Now he's into politics, you know, uh, instead of getting his people organized for this, for, getting, for this King Alfred, the final stages of the King Alfred plan. What, how they moving over there in the Middle East? How they moved over in the Vietnam? See, they learned from Vietnam. Now they got all kinds of weapons now. All kinds of weapons, you know, advanced weapons. Drones and plus they're using biological warfare, chemical warfare. Uh this I don't know if you notice. Know but since the impeachment or the trial of uh, Trump, the impeachment, a lot of strange things things are happening. But there's a lot to be covered up. See. A lot of things started happening because of the fact that Trump accused Hillary and Clinton, you know, they were throwing each other, each other up under the bus 
Trump said he gonna clean out the, out the swamp. He gonna do this and that and the other. Make America great again. And uh, while he's trying to make America great again, all all kind of things is happening strange. And the news, the news media, they're going along with it. They're not, they're, they're not telling the truth. So what you got to do now is go back to the message to the black man. You got to go back to the message to the black man in the uh, literary work of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The literary work of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, even in this flag right here, or this uh, book, The Flag of Islam, it tells you that Minister Farrakhan is not teaching this no more. He's not teaching. Then you got another brother, Marvin Mohammed, who who going to reinvent himself into the son of man, taking the play away from Master Farah Muhammad, saying that Master Farah Muhammad wasn't the son of man. He the son of man, the real son of man. He redesigned the flag. He made the flag two half moons with a star in the middle. Just the flag that Master Farad designed. Now you got all these different brothers teaching almost like they're using they almost like the teachings of the Amalaj Muhammad, but they're using that for a base to, to attract the people. They get, get the people some honey. And then after that, you know, you catch more flies with honey. After that, you throw uh, another program in the mix. And then you got uh, brothers like Sinetta, brothers like Young Pharaoh, brothers like Polite, mixing everybody up. And people love them. See, Farrakhan had to go mainstream because in real, in real life, uh, black preachers and Christians and civil rights leaders, they didn't like uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad because he was too independent and wanted to be separate from the plantation and the slave master. But Jesse Jackson and Sharpton, they right up there with the slave master. So they won't let Farrakhan in, but they let Farrakhan come on the Phil Donahue show and tell, and tell the people that Farrakhan is the leader of the Nation of Islam. And so now, did he go on Baba Walters? Baba Walters. They say he's the leader of the Nation of Islam. And you got all these white people saying that he's the leader of the Nation of Islam, and the, and the black people, they believe it. They don't know no better. But we don't have no uh, organization or, or cohesiveness because we're not following the blueprint See, even though this money that we're not using, one day it's going to collapse. It's not going to be worth nothing. 
But we're not doing nothing, holding on to nothing to sustain ourselves when it do collapse. We're going to have to give in to the white man and use what he gives us. Because we ain't giving nothing to ourselves. We ain't doing nothing for ourselves. See, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, when the dollars were, was worth something, he built something with it. He was on his way to build a black hospital. Because how can you trust the white man's hospital? All these strange diseases coming up. Strange flus and stuff. So you got to get a flu shot. Man, Santos is uh, modified food. Uh, they're, they're they got modified foods, uh, sprays that kill. So the Nation of Islam, their farms were pure, you know, raised organically, food raising food organically. But y'all rejected him. And the brothers was worshiping in him like instead of listening to the words he was saying, they was worshiping him. So they just fell apart. But no one is carrying on the programs of the Donald Elijah Muhammad. I got a whole lot to say about that. So Time is growing short. That's why I'm calling this the Midnight Special. You could tell that the beast is getting ready to do, to make some crazy moves. Because he got to save himself. And he got to kill all witnesses to all the corruption that he's been doing. Got a lot of whistleblowers out there now. And in the meanwhile, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, the so-called Illuminati, they somewhere chilling, watching the fireworks. They think they're untouchable. But as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad say, your time is up, buddy. It's black light.